welcome to my channel and this is milk in a mug for today's video i am talking about my all-time favorite designer my goddess my patron saint micheline pitt there is yet to be something that she makes where i was like "Ooh, that was bad and everything she makes for the most part i am head over heels in love with i want to buy i want to own it i want it on me in my closet but you know like anyone else i'm not rolling in cash so I buy a lot of my stuff on resale so I am going to mention a few things I have gradually hauled this summer some of its resale some of it I did buy online from her stores either Vixen brand or the La Femme Noir brand her sizing goes from extra small to 4x so she is a all body inclusive brand which I think is very refreshing and I think should be standard with all brands no matter what your shape or size is, you should be able to find clothing that makes you feel beautiful and confident like yourself. I have been personally following Micheline Pitt since she was still designing for Pinup Girl with her brand Deadly Dames. That's where I first found out about her. I used to be a devotee to that brand, but when she left, I left because my devotion is to her, her quality, her style, the aesthetic, the design. Her garments are designed to have such good structure. It's like you don't necessarily need shapewear or a bra half the time. Um, one of the things I'm going to show you is I got um, a two-piece swimsuit and a one-piece from her. The swim bottoms, I haven't tried the one-piece yet, yet, but the swim bottoms are magical sh shapewear sw swim bottoms. She puts so much thought into her designs and she does sell size range that is inclusive to all shapes and sizes and I love that even on her website she doesn't just have you know skinny white girl modeling all of her garments you see a little bit of everything it's just I always have so much kudos for her for making that effort and putting that out there for people so everyone can enjoy it she's been described before as the vampy Barbie and I'm like hell yeah I'm here for this <laughs> Even though know, myself personally, I wouldn't say I'm strictly pinup or gothic or emo or vintage or Japanese street fashion or any of these things. I'm or even hippie. <laughs> but I really am a little bit of all these things that inspire me and I shove them all in a blender and this is my personal style and fashion. And the about section really sums up her brand. Taking inspiration from the 1950s bad girls. Vintage Aesthetics and Fetish Flair. Vixen by Micheline Pitt is where she offers good things for bad girls. And I really like that. I really like her brand and I really do stand by it. And I really do want to own as much as possible of the brand. And I can't speak highly of it enough. I know not the entire production of the garment is made in the US, but parts of the operation is made here in the US, which I think is also very good. I have nothing but good things to say about her and her brand. I love this woman and her products and her mission and style so much. She has a line where it's a couple different t-shirts. I really want the one that says Vixen, not a victim. The money from this line, I don't remember how much of it, but a part of it does go to Rain to help sexual assault victims. And I just think that's amazing. I'm nothing but amazing things to say about this woman and her brand so I can't recommend it enough. So I'm going to try to do, now I feel forward to, what I'm going to try to do is accumulate a few pieces like every three months or so and do another haul video talking about this brand and how much I gush over her so much. I actually had a job interview last week with Free People and they asked me if I could have any celebrity's wardrobe who would it be and without even a second thought I was like Micheline Pitt, who else? <laughs> Because, like I said, I love her style and um, aesthetic and design, and she's just amazing. I just love her so much. Part of me wants to be like, oh, I'd love to meet her one day, but I also know if I meet her, I'd just be like, just silent and awkward and too scared to speak. <laughs> I know um, a long time ago when Pinup Girl Clothing had a yard sale in Chicago, um, Doris Mayday handed me like my little entry ticket thing because my husband and our friends Chris and Bill were with us and I just stood there like an idiot like mm -hmm. <laughs> and my husband's like are you gonna say thank you or say something to him I'm like no I'm gonna be stupid 
if I speak or do something, it's going to say or do something stupid. So I'm just going to sit here silently and hold it and stare at her. <laughs> but like I said, top tier goddess is Michelin Pitt. My other favorite pinup that this fashion style is, I personally could have, there's a lot I follow and I love their, I think I'm going to do a video on my favorite pinups to follow online. But the one, like when I would personally would wear the outfits and aesthetic and style she wears is Miss Betty Bookworm. She's so stinking cute and she's just, you know, living that best life of going to Disneyland all the time and having the cutest outfits and I'm just like, I want to move to California and be friends with you. <laughs> but I feel weird saying that because I don't think she knows who I am. <laughs> all right, focus. All right. I have had my chit chatting. I'm going to get back to showing you Garmin stuff. The Vixen swing skirt in Raven Black is just a great go-to solid black skirt in my opinion. The next item is Capri Pants in Raven Black. These are just like perfect for like when you need some dressy capris but also can be like dressed down for like just casual capris. Vixen shorts and stretch down. These are, in my opinion, the perfect high-waisted shorts. They fit like a dream. Um, the pockets are deep. These and the capris, I like that they're both a true high waist. Like this is just this is what I've been looking for all these years in high-waisted capris, and lo and behold, I found them. High-waisted indigo jeans, regular cut. These pants are wonderfully tailored. I finally have something with wiggle room in my thighs, but also tight enough in my waistband. They're real denim and cut for like a real hourglass shape. So I really like these curvy ladies. These are amazing jeans. Vixen swing skirt in black gingham. You may not know this, but I have a kryptonite for black and white gingham. I don't know why, but if it's in black and white gingham, I will need it in my life. This skirt has deep pockets. These pockets are so deep, I can fit a can of hairspray each one. The Beetlejuice swim top and the high waisted swim bottom both will give you structure and assistance how you'd like it to. It makes the swim bottoms fit almost like shapewear and it's kind of amazing. And the swim top is a rash guard, but it's a little bit more stylish. The Beetlejuice swimsuit is made of the same material, but this is a one piece instead of separate pieces. They say the belt is water resistant, however, is best removed with regular use and clean after pool or open water swimming. There are water swim safe snaps, so that can get rusty over time, and that way you don't have to force your head through such a small hole. Thank you for watching and please don't forget to comment, like, subscribe, hit that notification bell, all those things that will support me because I really do want to get as many videos out as possible. But I will have a bigger incentive to get done more frequently and on time if I know you guys are waiting to watch. So thank you for watching and my cat is trying to leave. That's Wilson. Thank you for watching.